Hello students. Today in this video we study about different parts of female reproductive system. This is the first video about female reproductive system. Okay. In female reproductive system uh, there are different types of parts. There are different parts related to female reproductive system. In female reproductive system there is a uh, primary sex organ like a male that is ovary a pair of ovary that is present in female reproductive system then there is also other sex organs and ducts which helps in this process of reproduction like uterus fallopian tube vagina and glands which are going to help like Bartholin glands mammary glands these are the other organ that are associated <coughs> with the system and helps in this process now we discuss about the ovary if we see the structure of the female reproductive system uh, there are different parts that are associated the ovary is the main part as we call is the primary sex organ the function of primary sex organ that is the ovary is the is to produce the female gamete is to produce the female gamete that is egg or we can uh, call it secondary oocyte and produce the female sex hormone we all know that progesterone and estrogen are the two sex hormone that is secreted in female or is a uh, product of female reproductive system okay that means the function of ovary not only to produce the egg or secondary oocyte but also to produce the female sex hormones ovaries are very small they are located lower abdominal region that is in the pelvic region if you uh, recall the memory when we discuss about the male reproductive system the male uh, um, primary sex organ that is the testis produces sperm so it requires two degree lower temperature that is the why it is present below the abdominal cavity but in case of ovary not such phenomena is required so it is present lower abdominal region in the that is the pelvic region okay that means that is the difference between the male and female reproductive uh, structure or the situation of the position of the primary sex organ that is ovary in case of female and testis in case of male ovaries are suspended if you see the structure you can understand it better this is the structure of ovary and this is the ovary this portion is known as ovary there are many part so if you note down it get easy to recall all this factor okay this is the ovary this is the oval shaped structure small and it is located lower the abdominal region okay their ovaries are suspended to their position by mesenteries if you see the structure there are two types of mesenteries are present if you zoom the structure it uh, looks like a uh, it looks like this it looks like this and this is ovary okay and mesenteries are present in between the in between the fallopian tube that is this region in between the fallopian tube and the ovary this mesenteries are present in between the fallopian tube and ovary okay that means ovaries are suspended to their position by mesenteries is a thin fold a thin mucus fold okay this mesenteries is a name what is the name of this mesentery is name the, uh, the name of the mesentery is mesovarium what is the name mesovarium okay the name of this mesentery is mesovarium now the eggs or the secondary oocyte is collected by fallopian tube this is the tube which is known as fallopian tube collected by fallopian tube and then conducted to the uterus this portion is the uterus portion the so now after the ovary produces the egg then it passes to the fallopian tube from the fallopian tube it conducted to the uterus if we discuss uh, the fallopian tube the structure of the fallopian tube the first part of the fallopian tube is swollen part this part is 
like this like this okay this part is known as ampulla this part is known as ampulla ampulla okay and the first and the ampulla is divided into part the first part of the ampulla is known as infundibulum if you see the structure this portion i use different color to understand it in fundibulum okay this is the first portion of the ampulla okay the next portion the remaining portion the remaining portion is known as it must i s t h a m u s okay that means the fallopian tube is divided into two parts ampulla and it must the first portion of the ampulla is known as infundibulum okay that means ovary produces the ovum that ovum is connected to the fallopian tube then it conducted to the uterus the funnel like opening if you see the structure is a funnel like opening okay it is a funnel like opening the funnel like opening has some finger like structure finger like projection this is the finger like projection they have a create a suction this finger like projection create they move actually they move and create a suction and help to collect the egg and help to collect the egg okay this finger like projection is known as fimbri okay that means the funnel like portion the or the portion of the uh, fallopian tube that is close to the uh, close to the ovary is known as fimbri the fimbri is a finger like projection of the funnel like uh, portion fimbri is the finger like projection over the funnel like portion it move and create a suction and help to collect the egg okay the fallopian tube open into a muscular structure is a this portion is a muscular structure the fallopian tube open into a muscular structure which is uh, inverted it is known as uterus this is known as uterus okay this portion is uterus and uh, this portion is very important the another name of the uterus is um this actually uterus is the place of implantation implantation takes place in uterus implantation takes place in uterus okay so this portion is very important that means the fallopian tube has different parts the one of the part conducted to the uterus or womb which is the place of implantation okay and the ampulla and the ampulla is this is the portion of the ampulla and ampulla is a place where fertilization takes place if you if uh, anyone can ask you where the fertilization takes place ampulla of the fallopian tube ampulla of the fallopian tube okay and fertilization takes place and ampulla and implantation takes place in uterus mind it there are two different que question and which is very important implantation takes place in uterus whereas uh, fertilization takes place in ampulla okay if zygote is formed where, what is zygote the first cell in our body after fertilization the first cell which is formed in our body is zygote if zygote is formed it comes here and get implanted in the uterus if zygote is formed it implanted here it implanted here so if zygote is formed it come here and get implanted in the uterus the outermost layer of the uterus actually the uterus is divided into two layer the uterus is divided into two to three layer okay if you if i draw this it looks like this it looks like this layer okay if i draw this portion it looks like this okay the outermost portion innermost portion there is a different part the outermost layer of the uterus is known as perimetrium this portion is known as perimetrium okay perimetrium the outermost portion the outermost portion of the uterus is known as perimetrium 
which is fibrous and provide protection which is fibrous and provide protection now you can see the second layer the second layer is known as myometrium myometrium okay the second layer is known as myometrium and the innermost layer and the innermost layer is highly vascularized and folded if you see the diagram the innermost layer is highly vascularized and you can see it is highly folded region if this portion is known as endometrium endometrium okay that means the wall of the uterus is divided into three parts the outermost part is known as perimetrium the middle layer or the middle part is known as myometrium and the innermost layer at the innermost layer which is highly vascularized and folded is known as endometrium okay these are the three distinct layer of the uterine wall okay if you see the structure if you see the structure there is a bulging part part of the uterus this is the bulging part of the uterus this is known as fundic region this is known as let me change the color fundic region this is the bulging part of the uterus which is known as fundic part or, or anyone can call it fundus f u n d u s fundus okay now it comes to the body part after the body part this portion is the body part if you consider it is as a head part this portion is the body part okay after the body part a narrow part is formed if you see this portion a narrow part this portion is a body part a narrow part is formed okay a narrow part is formed this, this i am talking about this portion let me change the color otherwise you don't able to see this narrow portion okay this narrow portion is known as cervix this narrow portion or uh, this narrow portion is known as cervix okay that means after the body part a narrow part is formed known as cervix another mesentery if you see there this is another mesentery another mesentery which is a connection between the ovary and the uterine wall which is a connection between the ovary and uterine wall which help to suspend the ovary it is position is known as ovarian ligament ovarian ligament let me write it ovarian ovarian ligament this ligament connect with the ovary and the uterine wall the ovary with the uterine wall okay now now you see the, this portion what is the portion is named and okay after the cervix the cervix open into the another muscular part cervix open into another muscular part which is known as vagina the cervix open into another muscular part known as vagina okay the if you see the inner wall of the vagina if you see we are unable to see here if you see the inner wall or the inner surface of the vagina it is very rough and it open into the vaginal opening it open outside through the vaginal opening okay vaginal opening that means cervix cervix open into another muscular part known as vagina and vagina the inner surface or the inner layer of the vagina is very rough and its opening is known as vaginal opening or the another name of vaginal opening is vulva is vulva okay this opening has thin membrane structure this opening but it, there is a condition this opening has a thin muscular membrane structure known as hymen known as hymen this is present only in case of virgin female this is present only in case of virgin female in the cervix region if you see the this is the cervix region there are two opening there are two opening if you see the cervix region there are two opening you can see okay 
the upper opening the upper opening is known as internal os okay the upper opening is known as internal internal os os means orifice and the lower opening is known as external orifice or os okay vagina is lined by non keratinized stratified epithelium vagina is lined by non keratinized stratified epithelium and act as birth canal and it is the same place where sperm would get deposited where the sperm would get deposited if you see the whole scenario you can understand the ovary is a main part okay ovary is associated with the fallopian tube is a funnel like portion ovary is a small and is located in the lower abdominal region it is connected now the egg from the ovary collected by the fallopian tube from the fallopian tube it conducted to the second portion which is uterus which is conducted to the second portion which is uterus uterus is a large portion is a very important portion and this portion is related with the implantation this portion is related with implantation the uterine wall is divided into distinct three layer per uh, what is the three layer perimetrium myometrium and endometrium okay perimetrium myometrium and endometrium now the uterus open into cervix then cervix open into vagina vagina is lined by a thin muscular membrane which is known as hymen which is present only in case of virgin female this is the this is all about the first part of female reproductive system in my next video i will discuss about the transverse section if you uh, section it the if you section the ovary what kind of follicles are present how many types of follicles are present in the ovary how the oocyte or secondary oocyte look like or graafian follicles look like i will discuss it later if you like the video if you like the whole uh, scenario of this video then please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel